Welcome back to Acne Beautiful, everyone, where everything about yourself is beautiful, including your acne, and everything about yourself has a story to tell, at least that's what I like to believe, including your acne. My name is Maureen Elizabeth. If you've been here before, welcome. If you haven't been here yet, welcome. Uh, today, I just want to share with you guys a quick message for 1111. Today is a very special day. And instead of um, talking about part four of the endocrine system, I'm going to save that for another day, probably next week, and just share with you guys today my understanding of healing. Healing, whether you're healing from a chronic illness, healing from some emotional disturbance, disharmony in your life, or healing from acne. Whatever it may be, this message of healing is the foundation for Acne Beautiful and something I want to share with you all today so that, well, we can really move through the rest of 2020 with as much ease, grace, and self-love as we possibly can. The first thing I want to talk to you guys about is just a simple um, comparison between two different types of healing, two different ways of thinking about healing. I'm just going to refer to it as the 3D versus the 5D ways of healing, just because it's a little bit more fun, um, a little bit more current with the um, new paradigm ways of thinking, and something that something that I've been having a lot of fun with myself over the past um, eight months or so as I've began to integrate um, new ways of shifting my own paradigm and ways of thinking in my own life to include so much more than it did before, right? Why limit yourself? So when I refer to 3D healing in this case, and we are talking about healing the skin from within, we're really just looking at the physical, the supplements, the food, all of these good things that we talk about when it comes to healing the skin from within, um, the hormones, or maybe just like the Western way of doing things or the Eastern way of doing things. There's nothing wrong with this. It's not bad. Um, but it's, it's a little bit limiting. And that's what I want to bring forth to share with you guys today as we think about these two different ways of healing, 3D healing versus 5D healing. So 3D healing, we have our physical, we have our focus on food, supplements, exercise, Western healing, Eastern healing, thinking about just the acne, for example. 5D healing is to really look at all of the options and you may not know some of the options yet and that is exactly the point. There are certain things that may not be apparent to you yet that you haven't thought about before that could be a good solution for your skin. You may be saying to yourself, look, I've tried everything already. I've been down that road. And what does that do? Unfortunately, it closes us off to things and starts to pigeonhole us into one box or another. So if that happens and you're closed off to one thing, well, you just might be closed off to all things. So 5D healing is really just being open open in your mind and in your heart to what can help you along your healing journey because things change all of the time. We are not the same person that we were yesterday, even a couple of hours ago. <laughs> we are always changing, hopefully for the better. So we need to really remove ourselves from some sort of belief system. And this can be really challenging because it's easy or comfortable to grasp on, to latch on to something, especially when we are suffering. A belief system that is going to carry us through this journey of healing and get us over to the other side. But by releasing a certain belief system about how we need to move forward in healing our skin, whether that's by eating something or not eating something or doing something using this product or not using this product, these are all belief systems, systems of belief. 
by releasing those, we can really begin to truly understand what works for us and what doesn't work for us in each and every moment. This is where I'm going to tell you that there absolutely is no right or wrong way to heal your skin from within. There isn't. There's information, there are things that will work from time to time. Um, there are um, solutions that have been marketed towards people. There are lots of different things, um, but there is no right or wrong way. Especially since no two people are completely alike, what's going to work for one may not work for the other. So there is no right and wrong. So what is there? Well, there is the here and there is the now. We do have that. There is peace and ease and harmony, and there is dis-ease and disharmony. We can obviously feel those things, we can see those things, we can experience those things as vibrational changes in our body, in our energy, which also changes all of the time as well. Moment to moment, hour to hour, day to day. And this shifts with our understanding of what's good for us in the moment and what's not as well. There is no right and wrong. So let's use an example here. Let's say you eat dairy and today you have a skin flare up after you've eaten the dairy. Maybe you had the dairy yesterday, maybe you had the dairy today. That doesn't mean that dairy is wrong for you or bad for you forever and nothing is forever. Maybe you understand that dairy um, is not helping your skin right now and that's great, good for you. You have some useful information and that's where you are in this moment. And there's some understanding, um, some scientific background and understanding as to um, how dairy interacts with acne prone skin. And we've talked about that in the hormone videos. So we're not getting to um, you know, a truth necessarily, but we're really looking at the energetic space of something having to do with our vibration in the moment, as well as maybe even the vibration of the, the Thing that we are introducing or excluding from our life. So in this moment, in this space and time, the dairy is creating a flare up in your skin. But what I urge you all not to do is please don't hold that as a truth for yourself going forward forever, that you can no longer ever have dairy again. Because again, that creates a belief system and that is very limiting and it begins to remove other options and opportunities that could potentially come into your life. We cannot see everything that way and we want to see everything. Seeing everything the way that it is and the way that it could be is how we lead to a greater understanding of ourselves and can therefore make a better choice in each and every moment for ourselves, for our skin as well. So how you move forward today on 11.11 for the rest of 2020, moving into 2021, is absolutely up to you. It's up to you. You are in the driver's seat, you are in control. And what I say isn't right or wrong, it's just information. It's not about choosing this or that either, but it is about, again, listening, because you will know exactly what is needed for you, for your body, for your skin in the moment. And that happens from recognizing what is actually in alignment with you. And that is something that comes with practice and it becomes easier when you're able to tune into those subtle moments and shifts in your life. And you can say, I hear you. I hear you. I see you, my beautiful self. I'm going to give you what you need right now. Something that can really help with this is just, just get out of your own way. We all get in our own way sometimes. We are our biggest obstacles in healing many, many times in our life. How do you get out of your own way? You let go or practice letting go of um, the beliefs that you hold in your possession right now that make you feel safe. Um, when we do that, we can let go of 
uh, resentments, unknown resentments that we hold towards ourselves, um, towards our skin, um, towards ways of doing things that prevent us from moving forward. So the point is this, the more we have an attachment to looking at just one way of healing or one way of doing something or not doing something for our skin, the more confined we find ourselves. And the more confined we are, the more confined we feel, the more pigeon, pigeon hold we are, the less opportunity and options are out there available to us, the less we can see forward as well. Healing, whether you're healing something, um, a chronic condition that's physical, an emotional element in your life, healing relationships, or healing acne, healing your skin from within, it's all about transforming. Transforming your life, transforming your body, transforming your mind. And when we transform, we actually are able to go beyond our form because our physical body does have boundaries. It does have its own set of limitations in this very physical 3D world. And that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. It's not right or wrong, it just is. But healing your skin from within and healing with Acne Beautiful, because this is why Acne Beautiful was started in the first place, it means going beyond that form. It means transcending beyond what you can see and feel and believe right here and right now to something that you cannot yet see. It's out there. It's waiting for you. It's a potential possibility in the quantum field. And we are working on bringing that into our here and now. But we have to be able to see all of the options out before us. We have to be able to soak in all of the information and feel, truly feel what resonates with us in each and every given moment. And that, my lovelies, is part of what helps you transform your skin from within and transform your life. So with that, with this very brief message, I leave you with some hopefully inspiration for this beautiful day, 11-11, 11-11-2020. We have a short time left in this year, a short time left to shed some layers, love ourselves and move forward into 2021 with new perspectives, high vibrations, and plenty of love. Okay. I'll see you all very soon for part four of the endocrine system, where we will go into all of the typical symptoms of the hormonal um, imbalances related to acne. I've already created all of the content for this video, but I really just felt it was a special day to talk about the underlying tones of healing with Acne Beautiful. All right, guys. So much love. I'll talk to you all very soon. Be well and enjoy.